Hello everyone, I'm Kenta Suzuki. I present clearly efficient black box adversary attack with random pattern noises. First, I'll talk about back plans. These neural networks are being applied to real world applications, but also pose a security risk. Tasks such as facial recognition may be particularly affected by adversary attacks. Adversary attacks are attacks that misrecognize models by adding noise to the input image. FGSM, one of the most famous attacks, proposed a method to generate adversary examples by, by masking the model output, the gradient of the input image, and adding it as a perturbation. We assume the following sweet model. When image data is input to the machine learning model, the constant score is output. If the model is white box, the attacker can compute the gradient for the input image. A black box attack is method of attacking using the geodops of a model. There are two types of black box attack. In score based attack, all classes of confidence square can be used. In decision based attack, only the most confident class level can be used. Recently, there has been a lot of research on generating adversary examples using only the output information from the model for query. The attacker repeatedly queries the target model and continues to adjust perturbations until the model causes its classification. Ideally, the attacker should have a low number of queries and a high attack success rate. Untargeted is successful if it lowers the confidence score of the two class and misclassifies it easily. In the class of the figure, it can be a frog or a dog classes other than cats. Targeted attack is successful if the confidence score of a particular class is increased and it misclassified classified into that class. In the class of the figure, you have to let dog misclassify it. In reality, models are rarely white box, and the models to be attacked are often black box. For example, real world image recognition APIs like Google Cloud Vision, IBM, Watson, etc., return some or work classes of confidence for input image. Therefore, methods that can Generate and generate adversarial examples, even in a black box environment, are more threatening. However, from a practical point of view, it is considered that the, attack, the attacker often does not know the internal information of the model. In the context of attack, adversarial attacks, this is commonly referred to as a score based black box setting. We observe a relatively recent query based method. Pashmonias use a local search, local search method and maybe less prone to local solutions, but has the disadvantage of generating many useless. Yes, in generating adversarial examples. Chain Hunter is a definitive method. Of estimating the gradient by perturbing the perturbation by interchanging its sign within specific segmentation range, which has the which has the advantage of guaranteeing a successful attack rate relative to the number of queries. But experimental results show that it is a, 
hospitable to the effects such as gradient fasting. Scale attack, which attack, which uses an iterative random search method, random search method achieves high attack performance. Iteratively, anti-iterative random search method iteratively repeats the process of adapting the change if the value of the objective function for the changed solution is better and determine to the original solution if it is not. Iterative random search is a simple but effective method in the context of adversarial attacks, especially in terms of query efficiency. Hyperparameters uh, uh, that should be adjusted depending on the attack model and attack setting, untargeted or targeted, and parsimonious and square attack use such values. Of course, Hyperparameters are factors that affect attack success rate and query extension. However, we proposed a more realistic hyperparameter free method because we believe it is difficult for attack attackers to find the optimal hyperparameters for their settings when they want to attack their work models. The image with noise for each method is shown below. In Pasmonius, put square noise. In Sign Hunter, put horizontal noises. In Square Attack, put vertical and square noises. Our motivation is to see what level of attack success rate and query efficiency can be achieved by a more realistic approach. Here, realistic means ease of implementation for the attacker, such as no need to adjust hyperparameters. Here is our contribution. We propose a simple but effective workflow attack about the attack method. Our method achieves better attack performance than existing methods, especially against naturally trained models and input transformation-based defenses. The iterative random search method is employed in this study. The flow of the process of generating adversary examples using the iterative random search method is shown below. The process itself is simple. The process is repeated by adjusting the perturbation by, by adjusting the perturbation at a certain point in time, query, querying the perturbation and adapting the change only when it moves in the right direction as a solution. In adjusting the perturbation, two points should be considered. What kind, uh, what kind of noise should be added? and what range of the perturbation should be changed. Here is our approach. Exploit the pro uh, property that CNNS and uh, sensitive to local uniform noise. Noises with local uniform, uh, uniformity are generated, shoot randomly and applied as perturbation in our first trial examples. Dimensionality. Reduction techniques are used to gradually narrow the search area to avoid local solutions and accelerate the search in the, in the initial phase. These are then realized in a hyperparameter free manner to improve their applicability in various attack settings. Here is our methodology. We define four patterns local uniform noises hereafter correctly referred to as random pattern noise RPN. Vertical, horizontal, uniform, diagonal. At each iteration, a pattern is randomly selected from the four and a specific range is modified with a new noise of this pattern. The specific process flow is disturbed on the next slide. 
The following is the flow chart starting from the first query, and these are what I can put uh, at uh, 165 query. The type of noise is local uniform noise, and the perturbation is changed for each scale of any range. Specifically, specifically the amount of modification per query is reduced by gradually increasing the split range. One by one split range for the second query, two by two split range for the third to six queries, and so on. The loss values are compared before and after the perturbation modification, and the beta one is selected. This series of process is repeated until attack target is achieved. The method of generating RPNs and each of the square of n split ranges to modify are uh, all randomized to achieve hyperparameter free. I talk about experimental results. We experimented with three comparative models, Parsimonious and Sane Hunter and Spirata. And target models, naturally trained model, trained by Shifatin and in a minute. And adversarially trained models, trained by Emanist and Shifatin. And input transformation based units, trained by Shifatin and ImageNet. First, I'll talk about experimental results in natural trend model. Results are shown for the monetary trend model. Our method outperforms the existing methods in all, in all, but the attack success rate in targeted attacks on ImageNet. In particular, query efficiency is very good compared to other methods. Additionally, we can see from the table that more than half of the image are uh, image uh, successfully attacked for the for the target query attack with 49 query, which is about half of the median query of square attack. This is a graphical representation of the results of the experiment at ImageNet. Our method achieves the highest attack success rate up to five to the fifth power queries in both untargeted and targeted attack settings. This results indicate uh, high query efficiency in low query budgets of our method. Next, I'll talk about experimental results in adversary trend model. Adversarial training is a defensive technique that gains robustness by training models with adversarial examples. The three defensive models include the following. Motley et al.'s model and mean max optimization using PGD generated adversarial examples. Torres is Focus on trade off between robust error and natural error. CLP and LSQ run by matching the logic of the training image with the corresponding logic of robust examples while acquiring actually information such as scalar similarity to each pair. Results are shown for the adversarially trained model. The highest attack success rate were achieved for the Madrid at all. And trade models which have high original defense performance. For the CRP and LSQ models, only both Emerist and Shvatan recorded inferior performance to existing methods. The success rate of Emerist is more than less than that of Skazak, but Shvatan can produce a success rate comparable to other methods. Lastly, 
and talk about experimental results in input transformation based dependencies. The four dependency models include the following big steps uh, action and JPEG compression and feature distribution and common defense. These defensive methods attempt to mitigate the effects of adversarial perturbation by applying image processing like transformations to the input image. These methods were applied to each of the Shatten and the ImageNet natural trend model. Results are shown for the input transformation based event model. Attack performance that outperforms existing methods in almost all settings. Infer inferior, only in scale attack to bit rate in ImageNet. As an operation uh, test, experimental vertical uh, verification of the extent to which the four different, different RPMs contribute to attack performance. Here we compared the attack performance with each of the four RPMs was excluded from the attack. In table, for example, all minor Vertical rights refers to three types of RPNs excluding vertical rights from the four RPNs. The attack setting is the result of a targeted attack on the inception briefly model that classifies in the net. We found that excluding any RPN reward attack performance experimentally just, uh, justifying the contribution of each RPN to attack a success rate. I said conclusion. We proposed a clearly efficient black box attack using an iterative random search and random pattern analysis. In our experiment, we showed that our, our methods achieve higher success rates than existing methods in both untargeted and targeted attacks especially in low query budgets. In the experiments on defensive models, we show that our method achieves high attack performance in most settings. Since our method is hyperparameter free, it is practical and easy to apply for attackers. This concludes the presentation. Thank you.